And once Red Velvet is done with you, she's gonna have you begging like Keith Sweat. And who can beat Red Velvet? Nobody. Ah. All right. And, and Tony? Yeah. All right, so I heard somebody said that this Stokely Hathaway guy mentioned the name Keith Sweat on AEW TV. And I'm like, there's no way he mentioned Keith Sweat on AEW TV in 2022. I'm like, no, nah, man, there's no way he mentioned that as a joke to pop the audience as a heel manager. There's no way he said that. I had to, because that was a part that I missed. I had to go back and watch the promo, my, my uh, damn self, just to prove there's no way he said Keith Sweat. This dude said, I'm going to have you begging like Keith Sweat. I'm like, bro, <laughs> like, are you, are you trying to bury Jay Cargill? Are you trying to make Kurt not look good? Are you trying to ruin the baddie section? Like, what are you doing? And look, man, I think this dude is going to ruin the momentum of Jake Cargill, man. Um, I don't get it. She didn't need this dude. She was doing just fine with that smart Mark guy. What's his name? Mark Stolen? She was doing just fine with him. This Stokely guy is going to ruin her momentum. As you've seen... The uh, Creed brothers are now are now tag team champions. Ever since he left freaking NXT, right? <laughs> Once again, they are better off without him. They are the new champions now since he's left. It's crazy, like like this dude left. He left NXT for this. This dude literally left NXT for this. People keep on saying, oh, he chose not to resign. He wasn't cut. He chose not to resign. Okay, why? He chose not to resign for this? He chose not to resign to be on a show that could barely get a million viewers. That's what we're doing? That's insane. He left his cushy position down at NXT for, for this? And dude... Don't believe what he's selling. There has been tons of damn sources, man, all over online, everywhere, that has said, yes, he was the first choice to manage Omos. He's lying. Do not believe him when he says, oh, he didn't turn down that offer. No, nah, man, don't, don't believe it. Because MVP was doing just fine with Lashley. Then out of nowhere, they broke up. That was a last minute choice to break them up. That was a last minute decision. That was never in the plans. It was random. Right? Dude, MVP said it was a random pairing. What does that tell you? Obviously, they wanted to pair Omos with a black manager. Obviously, the first choice would be Malcolm Bivens. Obviously, because... Lashley had MVP. And as you've seen, Omos and, and MVP hasn't really done much since then because that was a random pairing that they had no plans for. MVP said, dude, look, he said that him and Omos were not friends. <laughs> so what does that tell you? He said every time they walked past each other in the hallway they said what's up but they were not friends so what does that tell you they were not friends so it's it's, it's not like it's not like it's not like mvp said oh hey omos i want to be your manager no this was a forced pairing look somebody backstage went up to mvp and said hey how would you like to match omos he said it came out of nowhere it was a random pairing and so what does that tell you? He was a second option because of Bivens said no. Obviously, he would say no if he chose not to resign. So obviously, yeah, he said no. So do not believe him. Dude, tons of people lie in the damn business to save their face. If he admitted he said no, 
bruh, there's no way Tony Khan would touch him because as a manager, you can't say no to a wrestler. If your boss wants you to manage Rick Rude, if your boss wants you to manage Brock Lesnar, guess what? You have to manage him. If your boss wants you to manage Mantar, Owen Hart, Yokozuna, you have to say yes. Ask Jim Cornette. He never said no. You, you, dog, you, you can't say no. If you say no, you might get fired. Every manager can't pick or choose who he wants to manage. It's, bruh, you're going to be paired you're, you're gonna be paired up with this guy. You got to go along with it. Those, that's the name of the game. So, by him, by him and Ming to say no, that will ruin his rep as a guy that's hard to work with. I've never heard of a manager saying no to a wrestler. So yes, I be just that serious. Because why the hell this dude chose to go to AEW? Has he seen what's been going on down there? This guy could have been on Raw. <laughs> he chose Dynamite over Raw. No, bro, I'm not doing that. I want to be watched by the most viewers. I don't care how bad the show is. I don't care how good the show is. Which show has more viewership? Okay, I'm, I want the money. I want the eyes. I want the money. That's what it's all about. It's not about being a damn mark. It's about how much money can you make? How many people can see you? That's insane. Look, man, this guy's gonna ruin the rep of Jay Cargill on TV. There was no need for this pairing. If this guy is saying Keith Sweat in 2022, no, man, let's get back to the Keith Sweat line. Bruh, wrestling is a sport where I'm gonna say maybe 85% are white people who watch. <laughs> no, no, it's a high percentage of white people who watch wrestling. Let alone AEW. Dog, when it comes to that fan base, bro, I'm going to say 90% are all white people. And now, look, I ain't saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying those, I just, I just feel like those are facts. Look at that crowd. Every show on Rampage, I'm like, I'm seeing tons of white people in the, in the crowd. You as a black manager, why would you mention Keith Sweat? A 80s <laughs> R&B singer. I know who Keith Sweat is, obviously. I'm of age. I'm black. I'm of age. I know who the hell Keith Sweat is. But the fact that you said, I'm going to have you begging like Keith Sweat. Begging? Bruh. Look, in case you people don't know, that's a joke, right? That that Keith Sweat joke, it, it's an inside joke within the African-American community that only we know about. But the people who are of age know about. It's like when he said, I'm gonna have you begging like he sweat. Bruh, that is a joke. That is a 30 year old joke. Let me say it again. That is a 30 year old joke. Literally. Look it up. Remember that show, Martin? That's an old show, right? That show was old as hell. They said that joke on that show. Who else said it? Will Smith or Fresh Prince of Bel Air used that joke. That's how old that joke is. Why are you saying that in 2022 within a white audience? Dog, you gotta know the room, feel the room, know the room, feel and know the room that you are talking in front of. I'm not gonna walk into a room filled with AEW neckbeards. And I'm gonna mention a joke by Tupac or Biggie Smalls. <laughs> like, uh, they, they don't know who the hell I'm, I'm talking about. That's like me saying, that's like me saying, um, Mama said knock you out, L, L Cool J. Bro, they don't know who the hell I'm talking about or what I'm talking about. You gotta know the room, man. Know your audience. You a manager, bro. Like, know your audience, know the room. If you don't, that might be because they don't know who the hell you, you were talking about. Like, what? Keith Sweat. Now, 
let me dig deep on that on that joke. Dog, that is a hardcore inside joke within the black community that only we know about. That joke came from his songs. When it comes to Keith Sweat songs, he's known for begging. He's always begging women not to not to not to cheat on him. He's always begging women um, not to leave him. He's always begging women to make love to him. He's always begging in all his songs that hey, nobody will love you the way I do. He's always he's always begging, but. In order to know that joke, you got to be a fan of his music. That's the point. You got to be a fan of his music. Now, bro, there's nobody in, in AW who's a fan of his music. Like, there's there's nobody. <laughs> seriously, my dog, this is 2022. This is an 80s singer, an 80s R&B singer. Bro, I know who the hell Keith Sweat is, but like, I, was a dog. I wouldn't be born if it was of Keith Sweat. So I know, I know who he is. But most of these kids don't know. So how is that gonna get her heat? You say a Keith Sweat joke in 2022? How is that gonna get Jay Cargo heat? Nobody knows who you're talking about. How is that gonna bury Chris Statlander? <laughs> like, huh? Dog, Chris Statlander barely knows who Owen Hart is. Dog, I bet Chris Statlander was like, who the hell is Keith Sweat? Like, really? It's like, <laughs> like, man, dog. This was a pairing that was not necessary. He made the other two chicks look bad. What's his name? Red Velvet and um Hogan. Dog, he made them look bad. He made them look corny. It's like, dog, you are in the wrong room if you are mentioning a joke about Keith Sweat. Keith Sweat, who has <laughs> I love I love Keith, but he has he has been relevant in twenty years. So I, I'm not trying to say bad thing about Keith Sweat. I'm just saying read the room. You are in an audience filled with tons of white folks who don't know who the hell Keith Sweat is. I, I was that was that was a weird joke. Man, you trying too hard to be cool and in in hip. And like, bro, you are showing your age by mentioning a, a Keith Sweat joke. Dog, you are showing your age, Stokely. Man, look, bro, he had made the biggest mistake of his life going to AW. There's no way in hell, if he was still in NXT, they would allow him to use that joke. That's like me using a joke about Buddy Brown. <laughs> like, huh? That's like me using a joke about Mariah Carey. It's like not a lot of people are gonna know the uh, not a lot of people are gonna know the reference. I'm how you beg like he sweat, but nobody knows that reference besides the black community. And you gotta be of age to know that joke. I'm saying in 2022, we using Keith Sweat jokes? The man is in his 60s now. <laughs> like, what are we talking about here? He's in his 60s. You trying to get your heat by using a old RB singer's joke? That is really a is really a damn underground joke, man. It, it, it that crap is an oldies joke, bro. You gotta be a fan of Keith Sweat to know the, the damn reference. You gotta listen to multiple songs of Keith Sweat, and I'm no damn well nobody in that AEW audience have heard not one song about about Keith Sweat. Damn man, I feel sorry for Jay Cargill, man. Look, she 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 could talk, right? Jay could talk. I just feel like, bro, she doesn't need a manager. She could talk her ass off at, at this point. She does not need a manager, man. Why was she needed for Stokely? I don't know. Like, why? Because he's black? You know what I'm saying? Look, I think he's there because he's black. Seriously. Because overall, why is he there? I mean, I think he's overrated as hell. If he, if he, he, this dude is using Keith Sweat jokes. It's like, I can see you using a joke about Chris Brown. I, like, I can see you using a joke about Usher. 
like Usher or Trey Songs. Keith Sweat joke in 2022. Man, I'm gonna start with Chicago, man. I'm I'm done.